I think um, theater is really good for creating empathy and connection. And so I, I think it's really important to see a diversity of different characters and different stories and different points of view. And humanizing the story is important, especially in this political climate. Karen Zacharias is one of Washington, D.C.'s premier playwrights. She is also one of the most produced Latina dramatists in the United States. I think it's really important to remind people of our depth and our humanity, not only as Latin Americans, but as humans. And that's why, you know, my plays have, you know, honor the voice of children and the voice of women and the voice of other disenfranchised people. I'm just really interested in reminding the world that the world is a complicated and beautiful place. A Stanford graduate, Karen's family in Mexico was influential. I grew up in Mexico. I grew up in a very artistic home. I'm the granddaughter of Miguel Zacarias, who uh, was a famous director in his time. He, he discovered Maria Felix and did a lot of movies with uh, Pedro Infante. He was part of the golden age of cinema in Mexico. So growing up in an artistic home, uh, with grandparents like that, of course that influences you, but not always in the way you might think. I mean, it was a colorful, interesting house, but I also saw the, the highs and lows and costs of being an artist. So I was, I, was, I, I was trepidatious about going into the arts. I wanted to make sure that, um, I wanted to make sure it's what I wanted to do. So I tried a couple of things before, but you know, everyone knew. I, I bought a typewriter when I was six years old. I always knew I was gonna be a writer. Yo soy Latina Americana. I'm Latina. I'm also an American because all Latinos are Americans. And I'm also, you know, a proud resident of the United States. And, um, you know, it's, it colors everything I see. I just have always a, a constant awareness of there being so many cultures here in this country and the fact that, that you know, Latin America is a really complicated and diverse place. The, the history of Mexico is not the history of Argentina or, you know, the, the sentiments of Brazil is not the same as the music of Colombia. So the idea that there's diversity and complexity within Latin America is very real to me, you know, and that helps inform my plays, it helps inform my characters. In 1995, Zacharias established the Young Playwrights Theater, a nonprofit organization that offers playwriting programs to kids enrolled in Washington's public schools. Every child that goes through our program writes a play, and every kid that goes through our program shows a huge growth in all their other classes and a much more higher retention in high school. It's about kids finding a way to tell their story and what's, what matters to them and finding their voice and articulating it. Zacharias writes plays for young people as well. The secret for writing for children is you have to remember how you felt like a child. And if you are honest about your childhood, it's not always joy and fun. There is that. But there are moments of not feeling like you have power over your life. There are moments of being overwhelmed. There's moments of being scared. There's moments of feeling injustice in a very strong way. And I'm still really able to channel those feelings. I, I moved to this country when I was 10 years old from Mexico. And so the idea of being slightly isolated and alienated in a new culture rings really true to me. Um, and it made me really aware, self-aware of my feelings as a 10-year-old girl. And I can access those now as a non-10-year-old girl and use that to um, inform my plays. You have to close your eyes and remember what it felt to be small. You have to remember your parents' voices. You have to look at other kids. I have children. And remember how it was to see the world through their eyes. There's no grown-up that has not been a child. There's people who choose to forget, and then those people who choose to remember. I work really hard on remembering how it felt to be that age. Zacharias and YPT have formed a number of partnerships with cultural organizations, including the Kennedy Center. Um, I've, I've, had, I've had the honor and the pleasure of working with the Kennedy Center on a number of things. And then I was commissioned by the Kennedy Center and the White House to go into the community here in Washington, D.C. and talk to kids about what the White House meant to them. And we co-wrote, I co-wrote with 30 other kids, a play about the 
the history of the White House. And that play went on to get performed at the White House. Then it became a book that, with a foreword from Michelle Obama, is called Chasing George Washington. The, the George Washington from the painting in the White House pops out and takes these kids on a tour. And it was also very theatrical, and they run into Abraham Lincoln and Jackie Kennedy and all sorts of people. A recent project at the Kennedy Center was a Latin version of Oliver Twist that takes place in a favela in Rio de Janeiro. So, maybe I can help you. Who are you? Oh, my name is Oliver. Rio. So we have a girl who is our Olive, uh, uh, Oliver. Her name is Esperanza Oliverio. Esperanza, of course, meaning hope. And she transforms all the other characters in the play. Um, the play doesn't shy away from the um, social and economic inequity that happens a lot in, um, in our countries, in all the Americas. Actress Felicia Curry plays the title role. What we're trying to cultivate in children's theater are the adult theater goers of the future. And so the, the stories are written to be child friendly, but they're not written to be told any differently, if that makes any sense. I don't act any differently. If I were doing this show for a full adult audience, I would do it the same exact way. Um, children are very smart. They're um, very opinionated. They're very honest, and so if you start to talk down to them or play down to them, they will notice it and they'll call you out on it. And so the thing that I love about children's theater, especially here at the Kennedy Center, um, is that we don't do that. We tell a story, and we tell it in a way that they can understand and that they can appreciate. I hope that they take away a new um, found love and understanding of Brazil and of Brazilian culture. I hope audiences, I hope parents and their children talk about um, the complexity of life and what the kids' choices are. I think there's two kinds of entertainment in the world, one that takes you away and one that gives you tools to deal with the world. And I think Oliverio does both. It gets, takes you on a trip to Brazil, but at the same time it's arming the audience with important questions and hopefully kids will realize, just like the little girl in the play, that they have power to change the world to make it a better place. The playwright's latest work is called Native Gardens, a comedy about a Chilean attorney, his Native American wife, their well-to-do Washington neighbors, and the culture clash that ensues, performed at the arena stage. I'm the head of the no, I'm not the head, I'm the founder, of, or one of the founders of the Latino Theater Commons. And what we do is we're trying to bring the, the idea of the Latino narrative to the stage, of seeing different kind of Latino characters doing different type of things and updating that. Another example of an artist whose heritage inspires and infuses her work. I'm Mexican every day, every moment. <laughs> so.